between here and San Rafael, a lot of the gun violence we have in our city takes place between these two neighborhoods. But I can say over the last year, it's reduced enormously. And, um, and I think there's a couple reasons. One is um, we've got a lot of guns out of the people's hands and off the streets. Yeah. And then the second reason is the community has chosen to reduce the violence. And um, I hope that that continues because, um, you, you know, you don't reduce violence uh, willy-nilly. It's going to have to be a, a strategic decision. We're standing in front of a memorial, correct? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so um, several years ago, two young men were uh, gunned down and murdered right here on the spot. Okay. And, um, and violence has been going back and forth between here and another neighborhood for some time. And sometimes what it takes is just getting the violence to stop, let everybody take their, get their breath, catch their breath, and then um, cooler heads can prevail. But uh, one of the things we know is that if you have the availability of guns, that if people are using some kind of narcotic, and maybe not using narcotic, and, but are wound up because of an event that has taken place, yeah. then it becomes problematic and you get these tit for tat you know, shootings. So what we've done is try to get a lot of guns off the street, out of the hands of people who, who A, cannot legally possess them or are likely to use them in a shooting. And, uh, and what we've seen now is a significant reduction of violence. How do you, how do you go about getting the guns out of their hands? Yeah. Well, a variety of ways is uh, proactive <clears throat> policing, okay. uh, uh, using intelligence on who are the shot, uh, shot callers and shooters. Uh, and so once we identify people who are the shot callers, uh, and the sh you know, people who have been shooters in the past, you focus on those folks because they're likely to use those guns. Okay. I mean, not everybody who's gonna use, you know, who has a gun is gonna use it you know, illegally against people, but we know that there are some who are going to. So our job is to stop them uh, when, when permissible, search them and get those guns off the street. But you can only do that through proactive policing and um, you know, be in, in front of it rather than behind it. Sure. And teaming with the community as well. And team with the community, that's exactly right. You know, we went door to door in this neighborhood, my command staff and I went knocked on every single door, and um, and talked to people, and by and large, people want to be safe in sure. their own homes. They want to be comfortable. They want to be able to come outside at nighttime, sit down, smoke a cigar, have a bourbon, talk to their neighbors. Um, and when you can't do that, that's not right. Um, I've got to be anybody in this community should be able to come up here, walk through the neighborhood at nighttime, and feel perfectly safe. That's the goal. And I don't care if you're from South Palm Springs or North Palm Springs, you should be comfortable in any neighborhood in the city. And until we do that, we have not done our job. Well, but you have improved it. We're heading the right direction. It has improved okay. greatly. I mean, we went from an average of, I think, three point, you know, 3.5, something like that, murders a year to zero. To zero. You know, That's for, right. the, for the first time in a long time. The year before that, we had five and six the year before that. So we're heading the right way. But we, but it, there's more to go, a lot more to go. And we have some things that we're doing to make sure that we get there.